Hey guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do simple blender renders. Uh, if you don't know what these are, it's basically really high quality images of your avatar. By rendering these images, you basically get really good and really high quality pictures of your avatar. So you can use these pictures as either a profile picture of your avatar or just as a simple icon. So what are we going to need for this is basically your uh, blender project of your avatar. You get these with any avatar that you purchase and you're also going to need all of its body textures and additional textures like eyes, hair, collar, depending what the avatar has. We're going to boot up the project and now as you can see here we have our avatar. Now as you can see it doesn't have any materials so first we're going to start by adding your materials. So how would you do that is make sure you have your body selected and then on the right you're going to see a bunch of these little options here. You're basically going to want we'll go ahead and want to find a red ball which is going to be right here. Now you want to make sure that the above here is set to body because the body is going to be the first thing that we change the texture of. Where it says surface you're going to click on this little green dot here and we're going to switch it to diffuse BSDF. After that, you're going to go onto this right under, it says color, you want to click on that yellow dot and here you want to select image texture. Then, then you're going to go open and you want to go ahead and find your body textures wherever you saved them. Now as you can see the body still doesn't change color so you, what you want to do is click this second to last ball in the corner, in the upper right corner and now as you can see our body textures appeared. Now you want to go ahead and do this for every single body texture that you have so eyes, collar, hair, uh, you just want to repeat the process and add on every texture. Uh, once you've done that your avatar should have textures now and this is how it should look like. Make sure that you have the second to last ball selected otherwise you're not going to be able to see your textures. On the right side you should see a little camera option. You want to click on that and you want to on render engine change it from EV to cycles and from device from CPU to GPU. This basically means that Blender is going to use uh, your GPU rather than your CPU to render these images which I highly recommend. If you click on the last ball on the upper right corner, this is basically your rendering window. Now I have to say, I have to note, you're going to experience a bit of lag and a bit of like dist uh, distortion of your image, um, but this is normal, uh, this is how the rendering program works. So we're going to add a light. How do we do that? You go on to the, this option here, add, at the top left, next to the object mode, and you want to go ahead, scroll down on the light. Now there's a different options here. There's different now there's different options here, but I would usually select spot because that's the one that's the one that's usually used for renders. Now as you can see it's kind of pointing down away from our avatar, so now we have to position it in front of the avatar. You do that by selecting it and then on the left side of your screen you should see a bunch of little options, arrows and circles. You click on those and then you're basically able to move your camera around and this is how you move uh, the rest of the stuff that we add in this video. You use these tools on the left side to basically rotate them and move them further away, closer. So basically just make sure to position the light how you want it to. Now as you can see the light is not as strong so we're going to change that. You, ba you change that by basically on the right side you should see a little green light bulb right here and here you can basically change a bunch of stuff about the uh, about the light, like the color, but on the power we're going to put 150. Now as you can see it's a bit strong, but what we can do is just move the light further away. Now I recommend doing this, instead of having a weaker light, make stronger light and then just move it away from your avatar. Now what we're going to do is add a nice background just so there's something in the background. So you want to go add, mesh and then I did plane. Now position it how we position the light as well. Um, I would suggest ex exiting out of the render mode which is basically the second to last ball in the top right corner because you are going to experience some lag if you don't do so. Instead of object mode make sure that it's set to pose mode. So now comes the most annoying part of rendering or well the most time consuming and the most annoying. You're, we're basically going to position the bones and you do this by selecting armature on the top right and then using one of the using one of the arrows or circles on the left side you're able to basically move uh, your arm around or your bones around. Now this is probably the most time consuming part of the render and this does take time because each individual bone you have to move 
uh, there is no gestures for like your arms or something you have to position them how you want to now this can take quite some time and this is why usually renders are a bit more expensive is because they are just time consuming but yes this is the most I would say annoying part about the render is just positioning your avatar and getting it into the pose that you want what I would suggest is if you are doing a, if you're doing just upper arm position you want to do that pose in real life and then see how it looks like in real life and then you want to basically render off of that or you want to position your bones on your avatar off of that so in my case I did the arm behind the head and what you can do is do that in real life or take a picture of yourself and then you can see how uh, it looks like in real life and then basically position it like that in game or in blender just so that it looks more realistic so when positioning your bones make sure that instead of object mode you're into the pose mode in the top left corner so now we're going to go back onto the object mode and now we're going to change the facial expressions of your avatar. So how you do that is so you click on your avatar and you go into this green triangle right here. And now as you can see there's a bunch of shape keys. Now how you change them is basically you hover over the zero, you hold mouse one and then you move it to the left or right. To the right if you want to enable it and to the left if you want to disable it. So now you want to go ahead and find uh, the blend shape that you want if it's either eyes open, eyes closed. Now you do have to know that these blend shapes uh, vary from avatar to avatar. Each avatar has different kind of uh, eye seams and different kind of blend shapes. So maybe your avatar doesn't have a closed eye blend shape or I mean it should but in, in case it doesn't just note that uh, the blend shapes are different from avatar to avatar. So now I'm going to show you how to change the color of the background. You want to click on the plane that we added, go into this little red ball and where it says new you just want to click on that and you want to select a base color. Uh, you can either change a color to whichever color you want or if it's a specific color you are able to select it by getting this little droplet here and selecting the background how you want it to. Now it's time to add the camera. So we're going to go to the add we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna get the camera and now as you can see just like uh, with our light you need to position it so just use the tools on the left side and position it how you want it to once you have your camera in your desired spot you're able to see the preview of it by clicking on this little camera logo here if you do have a numpad on your keyboard you should be able to press 1 and that should bring up a little preview window in my case I don't but you are able to just preview your camera by there now we're going to change the settings of your render. So you want to hit this little logo here. It should be fourth down. And here is where you basically change your resolution. Now the bigger resolution, the sharper your image is going to be. And this is basically where you can change a bunch of stuff like frame rate if you are doing like a video render. But in this case, it's just going to be an image. So the FPS doesn't really matter. But basically, you can, you can change here a bunch of stuff. And once you're happy with your settings, we can go back onto the render mode, which is the last ball that we have selected. Click on the little preview camera, make sure that everything is right, make sure that everything is how you wanted. You can still change the uh, resolution if you want or if you desire and there's a bunch of options like light, sharpness, you can play around with it. But when you're ready to render, you just want to hit on this little render here and then render image. Now a little pop-up window should pop up, you just want to drag it over and here is your render. That is basically it. Uh, this is how our render should be. If you're not happy with it, you're able to, you know, always change it and always go back and change it. Um, if you just simply want to save it on your desktop, you go ahead by image and then save as desktop and then just want to name it how you want it to. And that is pretty much your render. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Special thanks goes to my good friend Nick. He's the one who helped me uh, and he's the one who showed me how to do this. Without him, this video wouldn't be possible. Uh, renders are really fun and I do de definitely recommend to learn them if you don't know how to do them. Um, if you're interested, I do do render commissions, simple render commissions uh, from 10 euros up to 30 plus euros. So feel free to add me on Discord and catch me up there if you are interested in a render commission. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.